What is up guys? Welcome back to another Shiba Inu video. We are popping off right now and people are making money. Nobody's eating ramen noodles at this point. Everyone's eating steak. And you do have this beautiful consolidation over here with a small decreasing volume. And guess what? Some big whale out there decided that a price of 4.9, a price of 4.7 was simply way too cheap to pass up. And they decided to pop in a huge buy order that easily pierced it all the way up to an all time high price of nearly 6.0. Guys, we're literally about to eat a zero, okay? If we get to 9.0 and then eventually a zero is eaten, we're going to get even more people talking about Shiba Inu. Big news media, Fox, okay, CNBC, Bloomberg, Fortune, they're all talking about Shiba Inu. Now, afterwards, we do have an enormous sell-off. Some whale out there actually sold off, dropping the price from about 6.0 down to 4.7. A massive decline, but here's the thing. There's two choices after a decline like this. Either everyone freaks out and starts selling, crashing the price of Shiba Inu all the way down, or you get the complete opposite and people just simply kept buying the dip. In fact, after going up to nearly 6.0 and it actually went all down to 4.7, everyone decided that, hey, Shiba Inu is way too cheap. Everyone, let's buy in. And thus it started buying in and it's recovering all the way back to like 5.6. Now, here's what it looks like if you zoom out. It's looking like a massive upwards triangle consolidation with a decreasing volume. Now, does that sound familiar to you? Yeah, it does. It sounds very familiar because this is essentially a consolidation with a decreasing volume. This is a consolidation with a decreasing volume. And guess what happens every time afterwards? A massive pump. Now, Shiba Inu, you could read it as an open book. It's a pretty simple coin to look at and especially how it's actually going up in a slow and steady fashion like this. So it's actually stabilizing pretty well and shouldn't be fearful of any dumps. Now, what's even crazier is Yesterday nights, we got like 793,000 followers, okay? More and more holders are joining in. Now we already have 802,000 holders. The holders are growing on an exponential rate. Now what's really funny about Shiba Inu is every single time when it pumps up, you always get a lot of people selling off. But here's the thing, so many new holders join in that it manages to stabilize the price of Shiba Inu. Every single time we get a pump, the amount of people that join in increases dramatically. Now, these people are gonna be new holders that will buy a lot of coins and thus stabilizing the price at a really high area. Now, it's even funnier is every single time it goes up, you also have the original holders doubling down and buying more. So that's what's going on. Now, most of the massive crazy rippings are usually conducted by major hedge funds or Shiba Inu whales. Chances are everyday retail traders do not have the strength to drag the coin's price all alone. So when you have these massive pumps from big institutions and hedge funds, the guys who manage to stabilize it are the retail traders. And when they stabilize it, it actually gives more incentive, actually gives more hope for Shiba Inu as a stable coin, thus leading more and more people and more and more hedge funds to pump it up even further. And then retail is the ones that stabilize it. Now Shiba Inu, the stats, the numbers, I calculated them, it all adds up perfectly. It's a coin that everyone really needs to buy and at the very least check out. It's essential, okay? I know when it was at 4.1, a lot of people are like, oh, it's too high, you should it buy in. Now it's at 5.6, what can I say? I mean, if you don't buy in now, it's gonna go to 6.0 and then 7.0 and you're gonna be missing the train. It's departing the station already. In fact, most of the train is already out of the station. Thanks for watching, comment below, see you guys later.